Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Wednesday, January the 31st, the year's 2024. Let's talk trading. Trading with Walmart. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine and different from Walmart. Walmart, last trading day of the month. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. And it'll be interesting to see how this all pans out. It's been a pretty muted day. Um, although this hour, it's run up pretty nicely. And last hour, it ran up pretty nicely. But the hours before this, we're talking about ranges for the hour of only maybe 10 pips, 15 pips, and that was it. Um, so this hour, at least it's starting to open up. We had some red news that probably helped that along a little bit. Um, we had uh, unemployment numbers, or actually ADP employment numbers and and uh, employee cost numbers. Uh, so that probably was a reason for that. By the way, I just went short at 27.20, which happened just as we were right before we got onto the video. <clears throat> well, we just and had a flip-flop box there. Right. We had a flip-flop box, plus the, it got up there into an area um, where it just stopped moving. And uh, I think it stopped moving because if you look on a daily chart, there's a, it put us into the wick zones of uh, a bunch of candles over the last week or so. So I think it was sort of like it hit the wick zone and said, I don't like being in wick zones, so get me out. Hmm. So I uh, just turned around because it literally went to the wick zone. Let's see, look, let me look, one, two, three four candles five candles six candles <laughs> you know if you go back you know a little bit but but that's okay i should have gotten out and taken five pips but now i'm only up about three pips <clears throat> but we'll see what happens yep we will i'm, th I'm thinking it's good because of that run up because of the news um, I'm thinking it's going to probably want to go down to 05 area. So I'm hoping for the best on that. I know that's not a trading plan, but I've made my core for the day. And the most that's going to happen here, or the worst thing that's going to happen to me, is this trade is a wash. So I'm willing to go and take that risk in order to make some nice pips. I'm willing to go and take the risk of not getting anything. It's not going to cost me. It's a free trade. <laughs> So we are on the indicator two right now. And uh, I think the previous bar, you would call that a sucker bar. Am I correct? Not on mine. No, because we had lower, low, lower, high, and it closed bearish. So no, mine, closed, mine closed as a, as a bull candle. Oh, OK. <sighs> And we'll just watch this. It broke to 15, came back up above it. But again, we're still on the East indicator too. We did go and touch it, but mine went through. Certainly... Yeah, mine went through it and came back down. Okay. But we certainly haven't closed above it, so I still have some confidence and just keep on going down to that old five area. It'll probably run into some trouble somewhere around 12. Yeah, you're looking um, at those highs from before. Yeah, yeah, between 10 and 12. Yeah, exactly. So, but if it goes through that with any type of momentum, then it's certainly going to hit the five. But if it, uh, if it right here, if it has trouble, it starts to bounce out, I may go and say, hey, it's time to just go and take your money. Um, speaking about the five, it looks like we've got the... Uh h4 open at least on mine at at uh 049 so just yeah, below. yeah exactly uh mine was at my oh my h4 open was at uh 5.4 another reason to uh 
target that area because it likes to get it may not go through that area but it likes to certainly go down there and test her out right Let's see, M15 turn red. I got one through 15 red, and 30 is still green, obviously. Right. And we did just see, uh, folks know we are still below the monthly open. We're about, at least on my chart, about 11, 12 pips below the monthly open. And, uh, Somewhere, we're pretty close to the weekly open. I just don't recall where it's at, but it's somewhere around here, I know. Don't figure that out. Let's see, my monthly opens at 2203. Weekly opens at uh, 26959. So weekly, is, we're still about 10 pips away. Yeah, mine's at... Uh... My open is at uh, 96.2. <clears throat> okay, we're going to get another close below indicator two. It's another good sign. Although we did have a bull candle on the one minute. Mine was still bearish. Yeah, if it has to come back to the five, if you look looking left here on the one minute chart, you can see we had that range right there that we broke out at 12. Right. So now we're back inside that range that's between 12 and double O basically. Got another seven pips or so to go. Now, you said you're going to either, you know, it's what you're like, uh, you're going California or bust on this trade, meaning you want to go all the way to 05, but you're already up about 10 pips, aren't you? Yeah, I'm um, up about eight and a half pips right now. Well, out of curiosity, you know, for the traders out there, if you put a 50% trailer on there, you'd at least capture about four or five pips, which wouldn't be bad. So is there a reason right. you don't do that? I just don't like putting trailing stops on things. Oh, it's just okay. a personal preference. Okay. It just seems like to me that, you know, if you're going to put it every time to me, it just seems like you put a trailing stop on something, you might as well just get out of the trade because I get the trailing stop every time. <laughs> Well, well, that's the, well. That's the whole idea is you're going to hit the trailing stop, but at yeah, least but that it, way. It seems like, yeah, go ahead. It seems like a, I, it seems like I hit it right away. Oh <laughs> well, maybe you put it on too quick. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, you got to give it at least you know ten pips or more before you stick <laughs> on the trailer. Yeah. Okay, I've got at least ten. Uh, Uh, bear candles in a row here. I've got um, this. My the concluding the current uh, the current candle. I've got three. Three what? Bear candles. Aren't you mean everything else was going up? No, I've got bear, bear, bear. Then a then a bull. Then a bear, bear, bull. Yeah, but you said you had uh, three bear candles. Three in a row. Oh, three in a row. Okay. Okay, just got another one. <laughs> yep. Come on, break that low. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just for the uh, traders out there, 
you might see that this indicator too has some uh, a little sign after it NT what that means is no touch sometimes it looks like um, the price touched indicator two, when in reality it never did so um, so right now you see a T exclamation that means it touched No, oh, just broke it up. Just got a uh, bull candle. So now this will push down. And, and an inside bar on that last one. Yep. Hopefully it'll break the bottom and not the top. <laughs> yeah, because now we got a flip-flop box. Yep. I'm tempted to get out of the trade right now because if I do, I'll get out with nine and a half pips. That's a lot of money to give up. Although it is a free trade, like I said in the very beginning. This is like kind of what we were talking about yesterday. Can you stick it? Can you stick it all away, right? <laughs> <laughs> So I got two bull candles in a row. Same. So well, that the, doesn't look good. Yeah, on the third one here, M15 still red, but we've got M5 that just turned green. Okay, if it breaks this area, I'm going to go and get out. Not going to give it all back. That'd be silly. <laughs> Seven seconds. And we're above indicator two on all, all the chart okay, here. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I got out and uh, let me go trade, switch over to my terminal so I can see how much I got. Do a quick arithmetic in my head. Hmm. I get 7.5 on that trade minus commission. So 7.2. It's not too bad. <clears throat> now, of course, the smart, if I was smarter and I was on top of my game better, what I should have done <laughs> is I should have gone long at not the first flip-flop box, but the second candle on the flip-flop box. In other words, not the first bull candle. But the second bull candle, I should have gone long there. And I would have been up about three or four pips right now. But I wasn't smart. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because, you know, and, and that, that's also just knowing who you are. I'm not very good at that. And I admit it. I'm not very good at, you know, turning around and going the other direction immediately. I do it sometimes. But generally speaking, I'm just not good enough to, uh, to be able to change my mind, change my direction, change everything about me, you know, and go the other direction and, uh, and be able to capitalize on it. And I think that goes into sort of your, uh, your early days. And I think we talked about this last week a little bit, you know, your early days of a Yale student and a, uh, you know, and a, and a rat, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you were a green rat or you were a red rat. Well, and I, I look at it from the perspective of, you know, are you, which way are you trading your flip-flops? Are you, you know, you're still, you just got out of a, uh, out of a red trade. Why are you jumping into a green trade so quick? You know, I think part of it is, you know, that experimentation part of it is that we overthink things and we wind up, uh, we, I think what happens is we, we overanalyze to the point of what happens is we wind up creating challenges for ourselves speaking of challenges time's up so fellow traders i hope you had a profitable month 
And it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is a rumpled one over and out.